Hey guys, this is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to pay a little homage to Felix Baumgardner. That, may, that name may sound familiar. He was the fellow that was part of the Red Bull Stratos project, the giant big-ass freefall. Uh, he parachuted from like 40 miles or something. He did Mach 1.2 something, and he broke some other records I can't remember really. But I thought we would sort of give it a try. Could we get a Kerbal to free fall from, say, about the same 40 mile height and actually survive? Uh, I quickly realized that you cannot put a parachute on a Kerbal, which is very unfortunate. But I did the next best thing. There we go. So I made this little pod. It's a little, uh, it's just a plate of metal with four parachutes and some handholds on it. And as long as it's kept virtually upright, the Kerbal does like to stay on it, so I suspect this may work, or we are going to kill this Kerbal. Our little Felix Kerbal, little Felix Kerbman, that's what we'll call him, or Felix Kerb Gardener. Okay, so we got to get him. Generally, his arms are the center of weight, so that looks about right. We unfortunately, if my memory serves me correct, I cannot turn the brake off. That's right, without a Kerbal in the pod, it is just here. So what we're hoping and praying for, and we're going to do a quick save. Cannot save while on ladder. Okay, so we're going to hope that it doesn't make contact with this on its way up. It looks like it should go by, but if it does make contact, it'll start yanking on the, the jet. It's going to crank us over to the left, and that's unfortunate. So let's uh, let's see what happens to our little fellow here. Yeah, we made contact, but huzzah, we righted it. All right, now I'm going to try and push the Kerbal back the other way. There we go. All right, so the Kerbal is fairly centered, and we are going upward. So this is a win-win scenario here for the Kerbal Space Program. Little Felix Curb Gardener there is holding on for dear life. Now the record is 40 miles, which is 40,000 kilometers. We are at 2,000 kilometers, so we have quite a ways to go. And little Kerbal dude is shifting around quite a bit. But that's okay, because we can sort of just push him around, just like so. There we go, he's a little more centered. So basically just doing the dance back and forth. Sort of keeps him level on the craft. There we go. Let's see if we can do a little fast forward. I just got to center him again. This is a tedious game of him walking back and forth on this thing. I don't want him to fall off. Because we are getting very close. I'm going to slow way down because I think he's going too fast. I saw him shaking around there a little bit. And we don't want anything to happen to him, especially way up here. going pretty much just fast enough to keep speed, but not really gain too much speed, because you can see I'm shaking around quite a bit there. So we're at 20,000 meters. Ironically, this is only the halfway point. Look how high up we are. What that man did, Felix Baumgartner, that was very brave. There was just so many things that could have gone wrong, but luckily didn't. Now what we want to do is we want to start shedding speed as we approach 40,000 because we don't really want to overshoot it too much otherwise we're going to be in space. And then it's not really a it's not really a parachute as much as it is a re an orbital re-entry. So we're creeping in on 40,000 
trying to slow the craft down, but still going very fast. There we go. Huzzah! So we are free falling from approximately 37 kilometers off the ground already falling at 160 meters a second which is incredibly fast i think i might be able to tilt this thing See, i'm just tilting it off its axis just a little bit and i should be able to get buddy to walk around on it yeah good stuff so i can keep him right in the center by just pitching this thing sort of back and forth a little bit but everything looks great. He is doing just fantastic. So we're gonna just actually do a little time acceleration here, just to break down into the atmosphere a bit. There we are, we're starting to hit heavy air. Still doing 500 meters a second. That's like a thousand kilometers an hour, a thousand miles an hour. That is very fast. But we're starting to slow down. You can see we're hitting the natural air brake which is good because I can't really deploy the chutes going this fast or we may just rip this Kerbal apart. All systems are A-OK. -okay. Our little Kerbal knot's doing great. Just gonna shift them a bit towards the center. still looking good. We're actually going to hit land, which is even better <laughs> than hitting open ocean. So we're slowing way down, only doing 120 meters a second. That's about 240 miles an hour, 270 miles an hour, somewhere in there. Fortunately, the sun is going down quite a bit, so we're losing our, we're losing our lighting. But nonetheless, this has been a successful mission light or no light. There we go. Parachutes out. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Well, he looks like he's hanging in there. I'm not sure how. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Nice. So we almost had a, a catastrophe there, but we didn't, and our little Kerbal managed to hang in there. We're just going to do a time acceleration and make sure this landing does go okay. Otherwise, we're going to have to plan yet another Kerbal funeral. Those are never fun. So, guys, if you liked the video, do me a solid and uh, subscribe. Follow the link at the top there because that helps us rank, helps other people see, gives me more uh, game suggestions, and vis-a-vis -vis, we get better videos. Uh, also, that leads us to my next point. Definitely comment, send me send me a message, do something, tell me what games you're playing right now, because all my games are, of course, user submitted. Uh, well, guys, until next time, until the next successful Kerbal experimental mission, guys, cheers. Apparently he's stuck. He's down, he's landed and safe, but he's stuck. Alright guys, until next time, cheers.